Hello, everyone. My name is Michelle Fletcher, and I am the college recruiter for CBCC. I hope that everyone is doing well, and thank you for tuning in uh, to this session. Now, for those, those of you who are joining us for the first time, these sessions are recorded. As a matter of fact, we upload these sessions uh, for your convenience to our CBCC website and to the YouTube channel. So I would encourage you to take a minute, of course, after this session and go to CBCC's website to view uh, those sessions that are uh, topics that we've already covered, and then some of the future topics that we'll, we will be covering uh, over the next few weeks. It is indeed our effort to make sure that you have the information that you need so that you can make an informed decision about CBCC. That said, tonight we will be joined by Dr. Cindy Wallen, CBCC's Associate Vice President for Arts and Sciences, and Mr. Wade Schofield, uh, an assistant professor at CBCC for Arts and Sciences. Tonight, they will discuss, again, the degree programs that are a part of the Arts and Science, talk a little bit about the uh, transfer, uh, how these degrees transfer to the four-year colleges, and talk about uh, the guaranteed admission, uh, an agreement that we have with a lot of the four-year public and private colleges and universities in the state of Virginia. So we have a lot that we're gonna share with you this evening. Feel free to ask questions along the way. We would ask that you engage with us. Uh, you can raise your hand and we'll answer your question through your question in the chat. We'll answer it that way as well. Mm -hmm. uh, use your reaction button uh, along the way if you need to. We will also leave a few minutes for Q&A. So if you don't wanna ask anything as we go, that's fine. We will leave a few minutes for question and answers uh, uh, at the end. So we are ready to get started. And I'm, I'm going to now give it over to Dr. Wallen and she will take it from here. Dr. Wallen. Well, welcome everyone. Good evening. I hope everyone's having a great day. Great evening. Uh, it's a beautiful day. And we are here this evening to share with you uh, about the programs at CVCC, Central Virginia Community College, that specifically are transfer programs. They are programs that fall within um, my area. And um, so they are programs that are uh, designed for those who intend to transfer uh, to a four-year college in the intent of earning a four-year degree. So these programs that we look at tonight really are um, those that will transfer a four-year degree. It might be psychology, it might be engineering, it might be some sort of liberal arts, business administration, what have you. But all of these programs that we share with you uh, today are designed to ultimately transfer to a four-year college. So what I'd like to do is to share with you those programs that we have uh, in the arts and sciences division that are designed to get you that first two years, that associate degree. Uh, and let me just list them out and then I'll, I'll talk a little bit more general about them. First of all, is the general studies degree and nested within that general studies degree, we also have a health sciences uh, pathway uh, that will help you if you are hoping to move into sort of uh, some allied health degree, some medicine, pre-med or what have you. Then we have an education uh, degree, a sciences degree, business administration, which is not under my division, but it is a transfer degree, and then the engineering and the computer science. Let me talk a little bit about each of these programs and sort of um, their, their pathway and what they are, and also to share with you uh, some idea as to where these programs, um, how these programs can help you. So first of all is the um, general studies, and I hope that I can do that. Let's see if I can get there. Um, hopefully you can see that general studies pathway and maybe not. So let's see if I stop sharing for just a second and we'll see if we can share that. I thought I had it set up, but obviously not, but we'll try this again. So let me look, show you quickly the general studies pathway. This is one of the programs on our website. 
And um, probably the first, best way you could do is um, to get here is search for programs. But the general studies degree is one of the many programs that we have here. And notice that if you look at this general studies, it is a two years degree. It is intended to be completed in two years. And what I wanna do is to look specifically at that program. And when you look at this program, um, it is designed for those who want to transfer to a four-year program. But here um, you'll notice the list of courses that you will be taking uh, during that two years. So the first 30 credits or so are more designed uh, to complete that first year wherever you were to go, any four-year school, any two-year school. These would be those courses you would, you would take. Um, you know, freshman comp, um, one and two, you would take a math course, humanities, social science. Um, then you would also do a science with a lab, um, a history elective. You would also take uh, either a fine arts or humanities or a literature. Um, you would also want to take a communication course. Um, then you'll notice here the introduction to liter digital literacy and computer applications. Um, that course is, um, helps you to get the skills that you need to be able to uh, write all those papers that you're going to be writing in this uh, program uh, and help you be able to uh, use Microsoft Office products. One of the cool things about this program is that you'll notice at the very bottom here is there are seven courses that are transfer electives. In other words, those first 30 credits are your credits that everybody's got to take. It's all those little Janets. But then when you get to those final 21 or 24, 30 credits, we want to give you some leeway to take the courses that you would enjoy. And so those transfer electives where there's a whole bunch of them, and if you were to click on those, those would give you the opportunity to to see, you know, to narrow down to hopefully, you know, if you wanted to major in history, you could take more history courses, or if you wanted to major in psychology, you could take more psychology courses or what have you. So that's just one of our programs. I will take a moment to share with you the health sciences program. Um, the health sciences program uh, allows you to do just a little bit more dedicated courses uh, in terms of getting in some of those much needed courses, the anatomy and physiology, uh, principles of nutrition, uh, developmental psychology, all of those courses that are basic, basic, basic to um, the um, allied health degrees. Uh, and then obviously a lot of the other courses are just those uh, Jan Ed courses and still remaining are several transfer electives. Um, now, if I could um, go back, I, again, I thought I had this set up so that you'd be able to see it, but that's okay. Um, we'll look at, um, talk just a little bit about education uh, program and education courses is very similar to the general studies outside of the fact that there are three education courses nested in there, um, uh, principles of education, and then um, a couple other courses specific. The sciences program, um, that pathway gets you uh, significantly more credits in the sciences. You would take general biology, uh, some general chemistry, uh, also some math in there. And those would certainly uh, prepare you if you wanted to major in biology, if you wanted to major in chemistry, even in physics, uh, we offer all of those. So the general biology, general chemistry, even organic chemistry, and then physics. Um, we also offer a business administration degree. Uh, and I apologize, so let me skip back there. Uh, and then uh, we also have the engineering and computer science degree. So at this point, I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to let Mr. Uh, Schofield talk to you a little bit about the engineering and the um, computer science degree. So have at it, Wade. Thank you very much. Let's see if I can get this to work right. How does that look? Great. Okay. So engineering, computer science. Well, first, I'm Wade Schofield. I'm a assistant professor at CVCC and the chair of the engineering department and the soon-to-be computer science department 
as of this fall. Uh, it was just recently approved and it will go live in the fall. So a little bit more about that in just a bit. So first of all, you may be a soon to be freshman in college. You may be a senior in high school and you're thinking, well, do I want to go to college? If I do, what do I want to do? So I want to give you some things to think about as you consider this, and maybe engineering or computer science is a good fit. So do you like making things? Do you like solving problems? Do you like understanding how things work? Do you like working with others in a team? Do you like making a difference, doing work that matters? Are you good at math and science, detail-oriented, creative, analytical, willing to work hard and interested in a great career. If you said yes to those things, you may be a good fit. I would at least give engineering a hard look or computer science. So job outlook. Um, question, of course, is always, I get a degree. Where do I, what do I do then, right? Uh, can I support myself? Your parents want you to to fulfill your dreams, but they probably don't want your dreams to lead to their basement. So we want to figure out a way that's uh, a path that's employable and enjoyable. Uh, computer science is a hot market. It will be for some time to come. Uh, it's a uh, high job demand in, in every state of the union, very high in Virginia, as a matter of fact. These stats came from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. You do a little research, bls.gov, Job outlook growth rate is 25%, much faster than average. Uh, median salary is $124,200. That does not mean you will make that when you graduate. It means that's the average salary across those in that field. But it is a very competitive, very good salary and a good way of uh, provide a good standard of living for you. So let's move on. Our computer science AS degree will start this fall, although we are already offering some courses now. Uh, it will go live this fall. Uh, it is designed as a, while it's a standalone degree, it's designed to transfer to a four-year school. So you would go here for two years, and then you would transfer and get complete your BS at another four-year school. To that end, we're fully compliant with Transfer Virginia guidelines. And because, well, frankly, we, we're most interested in your success. And to do that, we know you're going to transfer and we want to make sure your credits are maximized. Uh, total credits required are 63. Uh, as part of Transfer Virginia, we require, they require, and consequently we require, that you have exposure to two programming languages. We chose the two that are most dem in demand in the industry. Um, or at least two of the very highest ones. That, that's a moving target, but currently it's probably the two most in demand. And we include, which is not part of Transfer of Virginia, but we feel very strongly about work experience, a coordinated internship because we want you to transfer with some work experience. It will help you land a co-op or another internship and one day a full-time uh, job. So that is part of the... Uh, part of our program. We will help you uh, find an internship and we'll help you find an internship in your career path, which is computer science. Linear pathway. So these are the courses that are part of the program, that are the program. And this is taken, uh, if you take it in a linear sequence, this is what you'll see on the website. It's not yet on the website, but it will be very soon. Uh, to the right are prerequisites that are required for the courses. Should you have those prerequisites, uh, you would need those before you could take the course on the left. Okay. And during Q and A, if you have any questions, we can we can be certain to go back to these. Uh, if you wanted to be a full time student, then this is what we recommend as a uh, sequence. For fall semester year one, spring year one, fall year two, and spring year two. And uh, you absolutely don't have to do it in this sequence, but uh, this is our recommendation if you're going to be a full-time student.
Uh, engineering job outlook. So if you're not sure about computer science or not, but you want engineering, we've offered that for several years. Uh, in fact, the two programs are very similar in the sense that you can start down that path and not lose very much or maybe not lose anything if you switch to one or the other later on. So you can say, I'm engineering computer science and start taking courses. And at some point you say, you know, this computer programming stuff is not for me. Then you can switch over to engineering and a lot of the credits are also applicable. Not all of them, I'm not saying that, but it, it's very comparable in, in that regard. So engineering job outlook. Again, very strong, it's been strong for decades. Uh, the world needs engineers. If you're biased like me, an old engineer, the world needs more engineers. But anyway, the, uh, the world uh, certainly needs engineers and needs all disciplines of engineers. So whether you're mechanical, uh, electrical, electronics, industrial, civil, aerospace, uh, there's job demand out there for that path. Again, it's very similar to the computer science in that you would get two years here, then you would transfer to a four-year degree, four-year school to finish your four-year degree. If you'll, I mean, again, I recommend that you go to bls.gov and other sites, look at the statistics for yourself, but the, the bottom line is that uh, growth rate is good in all engineering disciplines. Our engineering AS degree is an established program, We've had it uh, for years. It is designed to transfer. It's fully compliant also with engineering, with Transfer Virginia. We just got through uh, with a review process where we worked on making certain that we maximized the credit transfer to the degree that we could. Uh, total required credits is 67. The website says 70, but there's some changes coming that will drop that by three credits. Um, in terms of the program, it is most closely aligned with mechanical engineering. That doesn't mean it's only mechanical engineering, but it means that m the credits are more aligned to mechanical engineering. To that end, the, that, that said, if you want a different engineering, we'll work with you and do our best to make sure that uh, it will the maximal amount will transfer to your school of choice. So why engineering or computer science at CVCC? Well, we have an excellent faculty to student ratio. We don't have large auditorium classes. Uh, I know each of my students on first name basis and they know me on a first name basis. We believe um, in teamwork. We believe in working together. So we uh, embrace project-based learning to every degree that we can. I like to have my students do while they learn. It helps with retention. Uh, we just uh, were approved as an ASME student club. Our partnership with the American Society of Mechanical Engineers gives our students more opportunity for scholarship, for internships, for internship training, for uh, expanded learning opportunities, and for competitions. <laughs> We participate in every year. Uh, we are certainly much more economical than a lot of other options. And again, your credits fully apply to a BS degree. Um, and that's all I have. Uh, Cindy, let me uh, unshare and pass it back to you. Great. Well, let me pick back up here uh, where we were just a minute ago. And what I'd like to talk to you a little bit about is Transfer of Virginia. And you may ask, why would I want to bring this up? Well, remember that we started off sharing that um, tonight's presentation um, for this time is really uh, designed to meet those students who want to transfer to a four-year school. And so therefore, uh, the intent is that um, you would do that in terms of just looking as to where maybe you might want to transfer. So I want to show you the Transfer Virginia portal, uh, and hopefully I can transfer here to this page and um, share this. So hold on just a minute, um, and we'll get to that page again. 
who worked this afternoon, but you know, as always, doesn't seem to uh, work when you want it to, so. So the transfervirginia.org is the website. This is a very robust website that can actually be a great tool for you and your potential advisor at CVCC. And let me give a shout out to the advisors at CVCC. They do a great job of getting our students to where they want to go. But this page, uh, Transfer Virginia, is part of a broader um effort to provide you as a student the tools that you need once you finish that associate degree or even while you're working on that associate degree in terms of getting you ready to transfer to the four-year school. So on this website, you will find, for example, transfer guides. Mr. Schofield mentioned that about the transfer guides on the Transfer of Virginia and that we're compliant with all that common curricula. So basically, if you were to complete that engineering degree, what you might want to do is to go to this website and look here and look and see, well, where will my courses transfer? So for example, this is one of those tools right here, where will my course transfer? Or you might look at various programs, search programs and courses, check all your credits. So you as a student have the opportunity to log into this website and set up a profile where you can explore all of central, I mean, all of the Commonwealth of Virginia's um, four-year degree, two-year degrees, all of those programs, all of those schools, and really learn a lot um, about how your courses, how your program is going to transfer. You can look at their transfer guides, for example, if you want to go to JMU or William & Mary or Longwood, whatever the case may be, they're, they're all there. So um, in the few minutes that we have remaining, uh, I do want to talk one more thing, and that is in terms of um, the early college program that we have at CVCC, and it is that time of year right now uh, that our students are applying. The early college program is designed for dual enrolled students. These are students who are still in high school. They are uh, 11th and 12th graders, juniors and seniors in high school, and they apply and are accepted. Uh, it's a competitive admissions program, but they enroll both at the high school and at college, and they actually complete a two-year degree, an associate's degree, uh, before they graduate from high school. That's pretty cool in itself to graduate from college before you graduate from high school. So Amherst County, Appomattox County, Bedford County, Campbell County, and Lynchburg City schools all are within our service region and they all have programs. So regardless of what county or district you may fall in, we have a program for you. The early college program is a wonderful program. It's college rigor, college credit for college work but it's a cool opportunity for students who are still in high school to get an associate's degree. So that application process is due March the 1st. So if you're listening and you think you might be interested in the early college program, or you have a sister or a brother uh, who might be interested, check it out. It's on our website, type in early college and you're there. Uh, and now we want to give just a little bit of time. We have just a few minutes remaining uh, for questions. So um, have at it. Uh, if you would like to ask a question, Wade and I are here, um, Ms. Fletcher is here, and we'll be glad to answer questions. So Michelle, I'll flip it back to you um, to right. mediate those questions. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you, uh, Dr. Wallen and Wade, for an excellent presentation. Um, we will uh, take a few minutes now for Q&A, &A, and uh, if there are any questions that you'd like to ask, we want to hear them because, again, we want to make sure you have the information that you need. Any questions out there? Okay, no questions. Well, uh, Dr. Wallen or uh, Wade, do you have anything else that you'd like to add or do you have a question that you wanna put out there? I would, I would just add that um... If you have any questions about your college path, come by and give us a 
give us an opportunity to talk with you. We'd like to help you make the right decision for you. Um, we're interested in your success and your future first. And, um, I, you know, that's all, really. Okay. Oh, you know, I couldn't agree with uh, Wade more, and so I'm not going to even try to add anything to that, just to give a few gentle reminders before we close. The next session will be next Tuesday, uh, December the 13th. And again, these sessions are from 6 to 630. Uh, next Tuesday, we will be highlighting uh, CBCC's workforce programs. So if you're that student that says, you know, I'm not really looking to do four years of school, but I know I'm going to need more than a high school diploma. And I, um, you know, maybe two years or anything less than that, if you have it, I'd be interested in, in listening in. Well, then I would encourage you to uh, join us next Tuesday uh, and take a listen for, again, how we can uh, help you uh, move forward uh, in your future uh, with, again, programs, opportunities, and options at CBCC. Check out our website, take a look at uh, sessions that we've already covered, topics we've already covered, and then upcoming sessions that we will cover uh, as well. And as always, uh, we thank you for joining us and definitely we invite you back to join us again in a future session. Thank you and have a good evening.